Hey guys, I've been away for quite a bit from this channel, but I'm back and I'm going to share with you what I've been working on for the last uh, little bit. Uh, I've been, uh, I've migrated over to the good old engine, as you can see on the screen, um, and I've taken to uh, hosting this special build of Godot, which allows you to take Dragon, Dragon Bones exports to animate your characters. So um, what I'm going to do today um, is just quickly show you how to get started with this, and um, I will expand on this and give more and more information as we go along. So this is a video format of my text written getting started guide. Uh, we're going to basically do everything that's in here. Um, so to start off, we need the applications. So um, you'll need Godot Pro 5.6. So you click the link on here. Then you'll see that it uh, takes you here. Just click this download editor button. I already have it. Um, oops. Can I? There we go. Um, and then you'll also need to download the custom build that's I provide on the site here. So I've got uh, a couple of versions here, all the export templates, and if you need um, a headless version for your server for builds or whatever, uh, I provide that one as well. So take get the version you want, save it wherever you want, and then we'll open that. So I've got I've got um, I've got the two files here, so you'll have your your Godot here. So just extract this wherever you want. I'm just going to extract here, and you'll have this, and then you'll have Dragon Bones. Go ahead and install this. I'm not going to go through um, any of these. You can just run anyway. Um, I I don't take any liability if anything goes wrong, but I use them. There's no. I don't think there's a problem with any of them. So it just installs. So just install this. I already have it all installed. Um, and then you can uh, open up Godot. Alright, so we've got Godot open here. Uh, we'll leave that for now and we'll start off with Dragon Bones. So if you go into Dragon Bones, I'm not going to go into detail on how to create an animation. Um, but let me open the, the one that I want. Uh, take the run animation. So on the Getting Started Guide, if you go back to the Getting Started Guide, you'll see that I provide a zip file with an animation with the run on, with a run animation on it. And you can click this download button, save it wherever you want. Um, that's this animation here. So this is Dragon Bones here. Um, so we've got a run animation created here. And if you want to edit the animation anywhere, you can just uh, do this, and then I'm not going to save it, but you. Can You'll see I can do this, and then you'll see it'll go it'll go crazy at the end. Uh, all right, so let's all right, so that's back to normal. So with your animation, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the file. Uh, actually, at this point, we'll need to create the Godot um, project. So like, create a new project. We are going to call this uh, Godot. Uh, Godot Dragon Bones tutorial, and we'll probably build on this. Great folder. Probably build on this project in future tutorials. So create this. It'll open it up. Move this over to the proper screen. Okay. Uh, so we'll go back to Dragon Bones now. Where's Dragon Bones? Dragon Bones. There you are. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna once you're done your animation, probably don't use mine, but you can use it as you can use mine as, as a starting point so you can play around with it. But what you want to do is hit export, keep the Dragon Bones JSON format. Uh, I use Texture Atlas, but you could also do individual Im images, I believe. Um, but I, I suggest a, tech, a Texture Atlas. Um, choose your folder, so you're not going to want to go inside that folder. Go inside here, we'll create an assets folder here. Folder, character, and we'll put it inside your select folder, and finish. So just confirm that, and you've got it, and let's go back to Godot. And you'll see now we have assets, and we have these inside here. So now the, it's very simple to get the Godot Dragon Bone stuff going. So you hit 
Control A for add to node. Type in DD Dragon Bones. There you go. With it here, you'll see that in the Inspector tab, there's a resource. Take this run underscore ske for the skeleton .json file. Put that in the resource, and you've got your character here. And you can uh, already see that you can turn on the run animation and loop it once or twice or however many times you want. So this is the basics of getting your animations from Godot to Dragon Bones. Um, I'll show you one thing in the video that's not inside the text tutorial. So here we have this DD Dragon Bones. We're going to call this animated sprite, or uh, we'll call this Dragon Bones. And what we'll do is we'll add a script to this. And inside our ready function, we are going to, so we're going to on ready, oops, on ready bar, right node equal dragon. No, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even need this. I should just be able to do this. Uh, probably self dot get. Okay, did that work? No. Is on four. Oh, right. That makes sense. So here, run. And uh, we'll play the run animation. So this is how you play um, an animation in code. I am going. I'm going to be making um, improvements, and I'm going to make a better interface for this because it's. Uh, I think remembering these strings is not ideal. Um, so th that's part of what this project is going to do. But for now we can do this and we can go back to the 2D. So here we have it defaulting to running and on. So now we can default to this and if we play this scene, you'll see, oops, let's, uh, let's, let's move, oh, let's move her here. Uh, play the scene and you'll see that she's running or if you take this off uh, you comment out all of this she just stands there so that's um, that's how you get started with dragon bones so just to show you um, just kind of what you can accomplish at going through and why I like it. I think it's a good solution. Um, here, this is my main animation for now. This is what I've been testing with. This one has a whole bunch of animations inside. Um, not specifically good, so I've got my crouching animation, my falling animation, um, my idle animation, which is a looping one, jumping animation, running animation, swimming, and walking, so if we go into uh, back here, we'll open our Godot Dragon Bones. Uh, we'll show you, oh, and I'll just show you here. You look at my, uh, takes a minute to load. If you look at my player script, player, 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 you'll see I have an animation. So this is a lot of repeated code. Um, Something else I have, I don't remember which one it was. Um, I've, I've abstracted this out and I'm not, anyways, let's not talk. So um, this is how we play animation. So you can play animations that are defined straight inside there and just say, play my crouch animation, play my swim animation, and it'll do that for you, no problem. Let's see, I've got my jump animations, my swim animations, yeah. So that's how you play, uh, you it, use, <coughs> so that's how you use uh, Dragon Bones inside Godot. And hopefully this has enticed you to at least take a look. So there's a few things that you can do with this, um, with this engine and the animations themselves that 
um, I haven't documented yet, but just to show you a few, you can define events inside your animation. Uh, here, you see I have an event called Paddle Done. And if you look inside my Swim Paddle, uh, let's stop that animation. And we go down to the event, I've defined a Paddle Done animation. So, uh, a Paddle Done event. So when it gets to this frame, it will send the signal to Godot, which we listen on the sprite, and then the paddle, and then trigger whatever you need to trigger. And that, that's, that's how you do that. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that you can do, but I haven't explored it all, and I haven't um, documented anything. So if there's anything you want to know, feel free to reach out, uh, send me a message, uh, hop on Discord, whatever you want. All right, thanks a lot. See you.